Oh, check, 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 check. Hey, yo. Mm hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's a cute little glitch. Okay, we're going to do it this way. alt account I'll be able to get what I need this is the only way I could get things set up All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just underway. Let's run down the card. Tonight, we got Alec Price taking on Rob Van Dam. We have Edith Surreal taking on Aaron Chaos. We have Nick Wayne taking on Mick Adams for the SIW Excalibur Championship. We have the Sinful Youth, No Chill, Scotty Rivers. And I have been corrected. Mark Doring's moniker is Madhouse Mac Doring as they take on the team of Tony Deppin and Matt Cardona. Then we have, under underground rules, Hoodfoot versus MJF. Then our co-main event, it's going to be Brad Acer versus Atticus Koger. Then our main event, it's going to be Abby Vex versus Christina Vaughn Erie. So, to quote Larry Legend, let's get this show started. Because I don't want to wait any longer. I really hope Larry Legend gets a chance to see these shows, too. Tonight, SIW is brought to you in part by Patreon.com, Fight TV, Fight Plus, IWTV, Pro Virtual Wrestling, and Patreon.com. I can't remember if I said that already. I'm a little flustered because I had to teach logic to somebody who doesn't have it. And by that, I mean teaching my smartphone on how to actually be smart. But and now, Reagan's Brand Entertainment, Big O Live, and Patreon.com proudly present to you SIW Agony. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Memorial Gardens in North Bay, Ontario. I am your host, the voice of reality, Justin Henley Gray. And what a show we got for you tonight. We earlier just have announced the card so let's not waste any time. Like I said, to quote Larry Legend, I don't want to wait any longer. So we are going to go right into the action. 
Alec Price, Rob Van Dam. This is going to be an absolute barn burner. Alec Price is probably one of the hottest names in this game right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're in for a ride. And speaking of in for a ride, H2O, Wrestlepalooza, the Independent Wrestling Television Championship, will be on the line. For Hustle Palooza, April 3rd, it will be your champion, the Bulldozer Matt Tremont, taking on Brandon Kirk. But before we get to some hardcore hustle, we're going to start things off by turning up the octane. Our opening contest is scheduled for one fall. He is the Price City, Price City OG. This is the prize, Alex Price. Alec Price making his official live debut. Alec Price is one of the hottest up and coming talents in professional wrestling today. So it is an honor to have Alec Price a part of SIW. He is, you well, know, Looking like he's not in the best of spirits today. But he's got to put his emotional biases aside to get what he needs to get done. Well, done. Because he's got a very, very explosive opponent tonight. opponent Rob Van Dam oh my god the reaction RVD is getting Rob Van Dam, who we've seen quite a bit of. And it seems like my lecture on logic for a smartphone finally worked because my phone's actually doing what it's supposed to. Like, what the hell was that about? Smartphones, ladies and gentlemen. They're not, well, they're smart, but they're not hyper intelligent. That's all I'm going to say. But the bell sounds. We got ourselves some nice action coming your way. Oh, what a brain buster by Alec Price. Price with a nice drop kick. Starting things off hot, starting things off heavy. The strikes and the chops, the chops, the chops. Uh, I just angered the ECW legend, Rob Van Dam, but not enough. Oh, back and forth we go. Things are coming in hot. All the strikes. Nice combination by Alec Price. I got a chance to see this guy work this past weekend, and I gotta say, Alec Price is a phenomenal talent. I enjoy his matches, and I enjoy watching him do stuff like that European uppercut. 
This kid can fly. This kid can move. This kid is a future name in this industry. Nice shoulder block and a nice distraction. That drop kick connects very well. We got some back and forth coming in. Here comes Rob Van Dam springing a quick comeback. Oh, RVD misses the moonsault. Landed on his head. What's this? What is Price thinking? Oh. Price is just playing him. Oh. Mind games did not play off, pay off well there for him. As we got ourselves a little bit of a back and forth. Oh, and another drop kick. Cancel that, and you don't need to go into the under the ring. Oh, both men going for what seemed to be like a drop kick maneuver, ducking over. Series of back and forth. Price going up top. Oh, look at this! Nice reversal by Price. Her can run it from the top two count only. Moonsault, nice springboard moonsault here. Oh, what's this? Oh, Price! Barely able to get what he needs. He was fed up. That's what he is. Al Price looking to end things here. Oh, the blockbuster. One. Two. So, oh, wait, what's this? Why is he stopping? What is his plan? Oh, the double foot stomp. Price is going up top. Oh, missing the foot stomp from the top. And Price is just laying in some strikes. Oh, he can't seem to lift Rob Van Dam. Who's just bouncing his way back into the fold of things. Oh, well, looks like we got ourselves a... Oh! Wait, Price going to try and steal it here from Rob Van Dam. One, two, for no. No way. Price thinking. Oh, European uppercut right to the back of the head. Oh, he misses the cross body. What's he thinking here? Oh! Beautiful maneuver. Price gonna go up. Oh, good Lord. Good God Almighty. Price in control. Oh, once again. Oh, he's not done. He wants to go another round on RVD. Alec Price sending a message. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match is the Price City Ochi. Alec Price.
And Alec Price with an emphatic victory on Rob Van Dam. Seems like when you actually scold your device, sometimes it does work. Speaking of octane and hard work, we know for a fact that Aaron Chaos is dealing with some serious chip on the shoulder kind of mentalities. Because at the Calamity Clash match at SIW Calamity in January, things didn't go the way Aaron intended things to go. Deanna Perrazzo kind of crushed Aaron's dreams and, well, Aaron didn't take too kindly to that. So Aaron injected themselves into this little war between Vanessa Craven and Deanna Perrazzo. So at Rite of Spring, there's going to be a two-on-one handicap match, and it's going to be absolutely insane to see exactly what's going to happen. But Edith Surreal eh, could be a victim of collateral damage. So, uh, things aren't going to go the way many people think. Expect the unexpected. Well, we'll see exactly what happens here. Also, folks, go to useless, unsuccessful, and or unpopular wrestling memes. Because, well, there's some really funny ass shit there. But anyway, enough about plugging Facebook pages. Let's take it back to the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it features the ladies of SIW Wrestling. Introducing first. She is... Edith Surreal. Those pretty eyes have a dangerous message behind them. Edith Surreal. What can I say about Edith that hasn't been said? A pioneer in the women's wrestling division, the independent wrestling circuit. Tough as nails. Violent. Strong. An absolute gem in this industry there's not a lot you can say about Edith Surreal that hasn't been said unless you're a raging transphobe who deserves to you know keep their mouth shut because you know, stay out of other people's business that's all I'm going to say but it's not about that it's about Edith Surreal and Aaron Chaos about to rip each other apart And her opponent, this is Aaron Chaos. Trained in the School of Agony comes Aaron Chaos, who made the return at a house show. This is going to be interesting to see exactly what happens 
with this whole rivalry that's been going on. There you see Edith Surreal, there you see Aaron Chaos. Both individuals have a lot on their minds. And Chaos is about to show Edith what's on hers. As we got a nice little exchange there. Stiff kick. Chaos gonna lift up. Oh, what's this? Oh, wait! Surreal! We got ourselves a block fest and another kick. Oh, what's this? No! Chaos really bringing it to Surreal, lifting her back up. Just dominating. Absolutely dominating. Running circles. What's Aaron thinking? Which is usually a statement I always say. Oh, the famous are. Two, no. Edith Surreal kicks out. The kicks. The strikes. Oh, Surreal, now chaos. Constantly kicking Surreal in the face. Chaos is not looking to make things pretty. Chaos is looking to make things quick. To make statements. But Surreal don't want that to happen. Oh, Surreal about to get... Oh, what's... Oh! Talking from afar. What is Chaos thinking? Oh no. No. Oh, that would have been the Chaos Lock. The Chaos Lock would have been absolutely... Oh, intense. Rope break two. And just like that, Chaos dominates Edith Surreal. And what had to be one of the most fastest matches I've seen. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match. Aaron Chaos Quick, easy and emphatic the Aaron Chaos way in that ring. That was a fast, fast match. Well folks, speaking of fast, we got some fast paced action. The SIWX Cal Championship is on the line. Mick Adams versus the prodigy Nick Wayne.
There's not much I can say other than the fact that hell's about to break loose. Mick Adams has been on the tear since the return of virtual wrestling on this channel. And this is his seventh defense if he defends successfully. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall and it is for the SIW X Caliber Championship. Introducing first your challenger. He is the 17 year old prodigy. The second generation superstar, the son of Buddy Wayne, representing the East West Express. This is Nick Wayne. Nick Wayne out is here. And he looks ready. What could we be seeing? This is going to be a match. That I truly am going to enjoy calling. And his opponent, the reigning and defending SIW X Cal champion, Mick Adams. Mick Adams is here. He is ready. He is hyped. Hell is empty. The bell will ring, and this man will put in the work. Once you reach 10 successful defenses, you have the opportunity to cash this championship in for a world title match or the number 30 spot in next year's Calamity Clash match. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Nick Wayne, Mick Adams, here we go. Oh. Wayne already starting things off a little quick on the draw, but is getting absolutely demol- Ooh. Realizing Mick Adams is not here to play is Nick Wayne as we got some high flying action early on in this match that standing shooting star press Adams now coming in with a nice hip attack but nothing came out of it second time's a charm drop kick into the corner Adams gonna go up top what's he thinking oh beautiful moonsault cover on Nick Wayne one two no Oh, clothesline back into the corner. Going coast to coast with that drop kick. Coming in. Oh, the strike city. Now Nick Wayne with eat defeat. Oh, Adams. Going crucifix pin city. Roll around. This is exactly how he managed one, two, to secure a victory. And up and down he goes. Cover. One, two, throw. No, no, no. 
What's this? Adams going to try and pull it away here. The Wakanda strike coming in. Uh, oh, Nick Wayne blocks it. Nick Wayne blocked it. Oh, the back and forth to the outside. Nick Wayne coming up. Oh, just shy. Oh, Inzagiri right to the head. You do not want to get into an outside brawl with Nick Adams as he tosses him right into the announce desk. Oh wait, that just angers Mick at, or that just angers Nick Wayne. Who slides Mickey back into the ring. Mick Adams now taking that distraction. The strikes. Oh, we got a waist lock here. Poison Rana! Poison Rana to Mick Adams! And then a step up in Sagiri. I don't think he got all of it. Oh, what's he thinking? Oh, Dragon Screw. Now working the arms, the legs, the back. Wayne going up top. Four fifth. Oh. Adams is in trouble. One, two, no. The XCAL champion. Gonna play around again here, around the loop de loop. Oh, look at this. Ref in position. One, two, for no. Oh, nice setup with that DDT. Cover. One. No. He kicks out at one. Nick Wayne just kicked out at one. What the hell? No. Adam's just unloading. Absolutely unloading on Nick Wayne. Oh, reversals. Beautiful set of reversals. Oh, look at this. Back and forth. These men are going. I'm trying to start working that bar. Oh! Adams. Adams is just getting torqued on. The knee of Nick Adams is being tested. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Second poison Rana. Kick to the face. And DDT. Is that running? Pick. It seems to me like he ain't going anywhere. Oh! These are some serious blows happening. Oh, that rod of cover. One, two, three. Yeah, that was some fast pace action right there. Mick Adams. Mick Adams. Your winner of the match, Nick Adams. And still, SIWX Cal champion, Mick Adams. Adams with a phenomenal win. 7 and 0 oh for title defenses.
All right, next match. I need a pack of bowl soon. Tag team action. No chill Scotty Rivers. And his tag team partner, Mark Daring. The sinful youth taking on the grizzled team of Tony Deppin and Matt Cardona. This is going to be an absolute war. The intensity that these two brought in their debut match last night at Heartache. Just crazy. Crazy. And you got Tony Deppin and Matt Cardona who are not as universally liked as these two character competitors. This is going to be one of the craziest tag team matches in SIW history. Let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the team of Scotty Rivers and Mark Doring. They are Sinful Youth. Sinful Youth. Probably one of the hottest new tag teams in SIW. These kids can walk the walk, they talk the talk, and they can fight the fight and dance the dance. Successful debut last night. Successful reaction. These two can easily be a top tier tag team. They're coming for gold, but they're going to do whatever the hell they want in the meantime. And their opponents first. This is Tony Deppin. Ring of Honor star Tony Deppin, independent wrestling sensation. You can hate him all you want, but you can't deny that Tony Deppin is a damn good wrestler. Tony Deppin is ready for action. Look at the way he interacts with the crowd, though. He gets off at being an asshole. Simple as that. Speaking of people that get off being an asshole. His tag team partner for this evening, Matt Cardona. The indie god, the deathmatch king. Former GCW champion, Matt Cardona. Always ready, always angry, and always soulful of himself. The bell sounds. Let's go. Rivers taken for a ride early here from Deppin. Deppin already. Tagging in Matt Cardona.
We got our back and forth, and look at that. Rivers now thrown into the corner, and it's been reversed. Strong Irish whip. Don't let the size fool you. Scotty Rivers is hyped. He is strong. And he is proving that strength. And he's going to the outside with a splash. Oh my god. Oh, thrown right into the table. Right in front of Deppin. Oh, Cardona dropping him back into the ring here. Cardona with a face buster. Tagging back in Tony Deppin. And now Deppin will be facing the much bigger and much more powerful Mark Doring. Doring has more power, more strength, more intensity in him than you can ever see. Scoop slam and a bunch of freaking boots to the face. Doring is just powerful. Mark, who started off in developmental, it's just devastating. You see just how vile this guy can be. Cardona wants to be tagged in. But the strength, the absolute strength of Mark Doring will not let that happen. And there's that power slam. Cover. One, two, throw. Executing pure power. Now what's he thinking here? Oh! Trying to go for that splash and he could not do it. Scotty Rivers. He takes the distraction opportunity. Oh! Scraping the boot into the face of Matt Carr. Dona, who just gets power bombed. Oh, Rivers gets reversed here. Cardona with a sit out power bomb of his own. One count. No, not even close. Oh, what's this? Oh. Tiger Driver. Oh, don't turn your back on sinful youth because they will put you in your place. Oh, what a boot to the face. I think that one may have opened up Matt Cardona. And I think I may have just pissed off Matt Cardona. But we got ourselves some back and forth. And a right hand. Now Deppin's back in. Cardona's back out. Doring tries to go for that. Oh. These vile shots. The back and the forth. We got ourselves a little bit of a riot on our hands on the outside. The crowd is absolutely buzzing. Deppin in trouble. 
and he just gets power bombed for his troubles. Oh, what's this? No! Oh! He calls that the MD-53, and he gets a two. Now, Bloody Cardona's going to pay for it. Gets slammed for his troubles. He's just playing with the oh! He calls at the handler, and it's over. Your winners of the match: Scotty Rivers, Mark Doring, Sinful Youth. That was fast. Well, folks, we got three more matches to go. Hoodfoot versus MJF. Brad Acer versus Atticus, Atticus Koger and Abby Vex versus Christina Von Eri in our main event. So let's not waste any time getting on to the next match. We understand that the Monster Abyss will not be in action tonight because he is banned from the arena as per MJF's orders. But that doesn't mean the orders executed by the Monster Abyss, well, <laughs> are null and void. They're not. These two have been putting each other through the gauntlet and through the gamut all this time. Leading up to Survival Fest. So you gotta wonder... Where is the Monster Abyss? What is he thinking? What is he plotting? Because next week, MJF will be banned from ringside. As Abyss will face somebody of MJF's choosing. The following contest is an underground rules match, meaning anything goes. Introducing first, making his official SIW debut, this is Hoodfoot. Hoodfoot is making his official SIW debut tonight in a match that he can consider his homestead. Hardcore rules. But he's got a task ahead of him. And his opponent he is the SIW World Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF. It's war.
This is going to be fun. There you see a hood foot MJF. Referee Chris Byron is here as he calls this match down the middle, but he just has to count the pinfall. That's all he has to do as Hoodfoot is dominating MJF. This is exactly what the monster wants. Fireman's carry. The chops, the strikes. The takedown from MJF. Snipe some of the DDT. Gonna go for the cover. No. See, the thing is, you do not want to incorporate any weapons in a match against someone like Hood Foot. Because he is dangerous. Souls. No! We are going off to a loud start of this match. Turn around Northern Lariat. MJF has to play it smart. He doesn't need to put weapons in this match because that will just give his opponent any reason. To be honest with you. No! Oh, crossroads. Like literally any reason to stop. Cover one, two, three. He didn't need weapons at all. Your winner of the match. M J F. The SIW champion with an emphatic victory. One of the fastest wins in SIW history. And Hoodfoot don't look too happy. He may have some unfinished business later on. But we move from that quick and easy match to our co-main event of the evening. Brad Acer versus Atticus Koger. Running things back. Because it's been a while. Atticus Koger has been on quite the tear for the last little while. His former 4-4-0 running mate, Ricky Shane Page, has signed with Major League Wrestling. So it's a big year for people like Atticus, like Ricky, to really be in the forefront of a lot on the independent circuit. But hey... It's one thing to be in the forefront, but it's another to be the forefront. Acer is a household name in CXW SIW, 
and Atticus is looking to make a statement. Let's not waste any time. Let's take it to the ring. The following contest is your co-main event. And it is set for one fall. On his way to the ring first. He is Aces High Brad Acer. Brad Acer. A strong willed individual. Who won't take no for an answer and marches to the beat of his own drum. You try and talk sense to this guy, he'll beat sense into you. Because that's his game. That's his play. That's his world. He is his own man. He is his own world. Brad Acer. What can I say about him? And his opponent. This is Atticus Koga. The Silver Tooth Satan is here and he looks focused Koger looks focused Acer Koger here we go Koger already going to try and outsmart Acer. We've seen it earlier in MJF's match just moments ago. The faster you strike, the easier it is to stay with the advantage. Koger trying to show his experience. Oh, look at this. Koger just exploding. Acer back up top here for the moment. Oh, we're trying to bridge. One count only. Oh, look at that. Playing a little too cocky, playing a little coy. Trying to take him into the corners. Nice ripcord into the back breaker. Kogler using the ropes to his advantage here. Really trying to work the spine. Oh, look at that. Acer's coming back. That snap suplex. And then that knee. Lifting him up. 
Throwing him down. Acer's in control. But for how long will this control last? As Atticus delivers that super kick. Oh no, no, what's he thinking? Go! Oh! Jesus! I think he may have just knocked out Abby. I think he may have just knocked out Brad Acer. No! Acer kicks out. Acer kicks out. The fans want to see these two fight forever. Cody's just getting thrown onto the ropes. Oh! I did not expect that to happen. Now Kogu is going to keep working the face. Oh, he just busted Acer open. And he's not done. What's he trying to do here? He's going to try and steal it. One, two, three. Koger just stole a victory. Your winner of the match, the Silver Tooth Satan, Atticus Koger. Koger making himself known. That was nice. Well, folks, our main event, it's next. Christina Von Erie versus Abby Vex. To close everything off. I have nothing to say because this match is going to be absolutely insane. The following contest is our main event scheduled for one fall. And it features the women of SIW. Introducing first, Abby Vex. Abby Vex has been on a roll since returning. Phew. It's going to be crazy. And his up and her opponent. This is Christina Von E.
Here we go. Abby Vax, Christina Von Erie. Here we go. Vex is going to start off a tie up in a backbreaker to kick things off. Dropping that forearm to the face of the veteran wrestler, Christina Von Erie. And Von Erie taking that. Oh. What's this? What? Oh! Vex. Just showing off some serious ability here. And a multi time women's champion. And it looks to me like Vex is really going to give it to Vaughn Erie early on in this matchup. Oh! Vex missing that elbow. Things seemed like it was going her way. Now Von Eri. Making it to Vex in another corner. Wait, Vex is going to try and steal a pin here. First time she's ever going to... The second time she's ever going to do this. Oh. Round and round she goes. Where she stops, only Abby Vex knows. Von Erie. Oh, throwing Abby around. Oh, wait, Vex. Showing that tremendous wrestling training. It's still getting thrown around. Starts in with DDT. Drops that forearm once more. Oh, close on to the outside. Vex now, what's she thinking? Goes for the elbow, sacrificing it all. That elbow drop, a double axe handle, a little insult to injury. She calls this the new the Vex Plex 2.0, and it's over. Your winner of the match, Abby Fex. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The biggest, the baddest, the craziest of the best here in SIW. Anything can and will happen. Thank you so much. We will see you next week.